Hello and welcome! Very, very exciting video today. We are going to pull cryptocurrency prices from more than 100 different cryptocurrency exchanges using CCXT and a bit of pandas. So first of all, let's take a look at the exchanges we are going to cover. So these are simply the exchanges covered by CCXT. So as an example, we have Binance here, Bitstamp, Coinbase Pro and so on. You see it here, right? So overall we have 117 exchanges. And now we are going to pull prices from all those exchanges. And as a quick recap on how you are pulling prices for one exchange, let me quickly show you how you are doing that and also explain what is the problem with that. So in general, you take CCXC and then use Binance. So you're instantiating and provide the name of the exchange. And with that, you have something like this here. And this one you can use to, for instance, fetch some open high low close volume data here for let's say Bitcoin UCT, just pull 10 rows here. And with that, you would get open high low close volume data for Bitcoin uh, over the last 10 minutes. Now, what you would need to do, if we are taking a look at that again, is to yeah, create 117 variables here using this approach. I mean, you can do that, right? Have fun with that. I'm a lazy person and I'm using an easier way to achieve that. So I wanna instantiate providing a string. So how can I do that? Python has a very helpful and convenient inbuilt function for that. And that is get add. So this, if I'm calling this on CCXC and provide a string, let's say a, um, an exchange like Binance, you will see that I'm getting this. If I'm calling that now, you see that I'm getting exactly that here, right? So this is the same. And we can leverage that to just provide all those strings and just instantiate like this, right? Very useful. Definitely take a look at that when you want to instantiate uh, using string values. Okay, now let's wrap that all in a function which is providing us open high low close volume data for the last, let's say, 60 minutes for a given exchange. So let's create a function here, get price, prices, take an exchange as an argument and a symbol. And first of all, I'm creating an instance here using get edge, ccxc, and the provided exchange, right? So this is exactly what this one is doing, right? It's just creating ccxt and then the uh, provided exchange. And then we are pulling the open high low close volume data. So we can just use instance and then fetch open high low close volume, high low close volume, provide the symbol and let's take the last six minutes here so default time frame is one minute in case you're wondering and then we are wrapping that into a data frame so let me show you how this would look like here outside this function and it's easier to understand so you see now you're getting this in tabular form here right and this is the time column so this is currently a unix timestamp so be a bit patient i will convert that into a human readable timestamp in some seconds this is the open high, low, close, volume column, okay? So all these data manipulations I just mentioned, we are doing within this function. So this is taking care of uh, data manipulations. So I'm going to create a data frame within this function using this fetch open high, low, close volume and wrap that into a data frame like so. And then I'm going to rename those columns here as they are, so First one is time, open, high, low, close, and of course volume. 
Okay, so this is just renaming those columns here. Now, as you see, the time column, uh, I want to have that as the index of this data frame. So I don't want to have an integer index, but I want the index as the time. So I'm doing that by simply setting the index to the time column and replace the current integer index. All right. Next, as promised, I want to transform this currently formatted um, Unix timestamp into a human readable timestamp. So I'm taking the index and set that to pandas to daytime, provide the index and set the unit to ms. Rest of the columns are currently string formatted, right? So you can take a look at that by using data types and you see I'm getting an integer value and I'm actually getting floating values. I thought they were uh, I thought they were string values, but just in case, I'm going to just typecast them as floating values, just to be sure. Maybe this is only for true for Binance and, and is not true for another exchange. So this is just transforming all columns. So just as a reminder, this is the index now. So this is just transforming all values in the, the remaining columns. So open, high, low, close volume into floating type values. All right, so this is our get prices function. Now let's test that get prices for let's say Binance on Bitcoin UCT. Got an error here. Ah, I forgot to instantiate here. So of course you have to do that exactly as I did above here, right? So for this mistake. So let's execute that again. And as you see now, we are getting a data frame containing price data for the last 60 minutes here. Right, 1747, 1648 here. All right, so works like a charm. Let's test out another one, Coinbase Pro. Also works, right? What's also also a fancy one? I think coin. Okay, so as you see, works. So finally, we are just going to iterate over the exchanges and call our get prices function for a particular symbol. So let's do that, and let's store the prices in a list. And let's also create another list where we are showing the failed price polls, right? So some exchanges might not work. So we are for now iterating for X in CCXT exchanges, or maybe for exchange in CCXT exchanges. And then you would just, uh, append the function call to the prices list, right? And then append such a data frame to the prices list here. So you would just take get prices for the, the exchange and a symbol. So in this case, I'm going to do that for Bitcoin and give, give some feedback here, right? So prices successfully pulled for the exchange. And now I want to have a try and accept statement. So if I'm running into a, an exchange where I'm not getting prices, uh, I can just append that to my fails list here. And then I can uh, get rid of those exchanges. You can also do that before running this, this, uh, this loop and just try to pull the most recent price, for instance, using the fetch ticker, and then already filter for those, but I'm, I'm doing it in, in this step here. So fails append, exchange, and then print uh, price poll fail for a particular exchange. Now let's start this loop.
and we're getting a price pull fail for AAX, but then prices successfully pulled for Alpaca, Ascendex, Bquant, Buybox, and so on, right? So you see some fails, but most of uh, the pulls are successfully pulled here, right? So I won't wait with you together until this loop is finished. But yeah, I'm already talking about what we can do in the next video. So we have a list now of prices over the last 60 minutes. And we can screen for the lowest price. And then take a look at is this a consistent price deviation? Is this just in, let's say, one or two rows? And with that, potentially find arbitrage possibilities, right? So these are the next steps in this uh, video series. If you are interested in that, please leave a like and comment below. And I thank you very much for watching. And I'm already looking forward to see you in the upcoming videos. Bye-bye.